This is our third project. We are going to learn value using graphite pencils from white to black, from dark to light, and all the gray tones in between. So what we're using is our four inch by five inch reference photos and have a grid of one inches square. To enlarge that three times that our finished project will be 12 by 15. So we start this project by measuring out one inch mark your photograph one inch this way another one inch up on top and then you you grid it out four inches this way four inches this way use a black pen so you can see your square very clearly that's why I asked the class to print it out on paper so you can use this image again and again. If this is all worn out later on, by the time you get to your whatever square you get to and this starts to look funky, then you can print another one and grid it out so this is new again. So. Once you grid out your reference with one inch square, then we're going to measure out your illustration board. To grid this board with three inch squares. So once it is taped, it will look like this. So let us begin taping. If you remember from your first project, it is critical that we have the accurate measurement of the interior 12 by 15, because we cannot rely on the illustration board. So we start by measuring, so, this border is one and a half inch, one and a half inch, and two and a half inch. So we start taping the two and a half inch from the bottom. Use your 2H pencil and make very light mark. two and a half. Two and a half. Pull your tape very tight and lay it down and align with your pencil mark. So these two edges will be one and a half. So you go one and a half on this side, one and a half here, pull your tape tight. 
align with your marks. So now you have straight edge on both sides. So you need to measure the interior now. From here to here is 15 inches. And from this edge, Start from this edge down to 15 inches. Align your tape with your mark. So you have 15 inches across, then we need to measure the interior precisely 12 inches. So now you have the interior precisely 15 by 12. Then you start to tape your edges. It will look like this. So after you tape your entire board this is really important so you can have a pristine border when you are done because you are going to be working with graphite and it will make a big mess if you don't keep your edges clean your border clean so after this that you have measured out 15 by 12, then you will begin. I don't know if you have, if you can see it, maybe I can put it closer to the camera. Uh, well, anyway, so I have already measured out three inches Okay, so here's here's 15. You measure out three, 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 three. On the other side, the same thing. You make a very, very, very light pencil mark because you do not want your grid to show up on your finished drawing. So you do the same. Three, three, three and line it up on the top and mark three, 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 and then draw your line. Very, 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 very lightly. Every square you work on later on that you, when you get to the edge of your square, you erase the line because you do not want to see that line on your finished drawing. So now the board is prepared. 
The next thing we're going to do is to do a value scale. So we all have the Prismacolor Ebony. That's the jet black and all your different pencils from 8B to 2H. You can see how the ebony is jet black and when you get down to 2H, it's very, very light. So how do you start your value scale? The value scale is extremely valuable for you. You'll see when I show you later on how to uh, pick your pencil on the shades that you want to, to put on your board. So we can start with the ebony. You put pressure and then lighter pressure, lighter pressure. So you can see the darkness as well that is from how much pressure you put on. And then we go to 8B. I don't know how, if you can tell with the, um, looking at the camera, but when you are finished with your different pencils, you can see right now on camera, the ebony, 8B, 6B, 4B, 2B, HB, and 2Hs, you can see the, the pressure you put on, the most pressure you put on, you get dark and then lighter and lighter, lighter. And then when this is ebony and this is 2H, no matter how much pressure you put in the 2H, it is still light gray. So that is why we need to have a set of pencils to give us the range of, of the tone that we are going to learn. And this is called the value scale. And then right now you can see I have some marks here to show you how we can use our erasers. to make effect. This is your kneaded eraser. So you pull it, fold it, and it is very pliable. So what this can do is to make a very soft,
mark here that this is great to do clouds or smoke. You get rid, absolutely got get rid of the pencil mark. And you can see, okay, with your Mars erasers, the sharp edges. And once you use up your sharp edges, you can create sharp edges by just cutting your eraser with an exacto knife and you can keep creating sharp edges like that and you can use this let's see here. i'm going to use a okay a 2b You can make a sharp white line That means you can draw with your eraser. And I'm gonna go get my blending stump. So also can show you that is what you do with your blending stump. You just go back and forth with your um, I'm, I have to go get it. I forgot to bring it. So I'm going to go bring my blending stump to show you. Okay, I'm back. So here we are. This is a blending stump. So you can see the pencil mark here. And if we want to soften that, we definitely can do this. You can see the pencil marks are completely gone. And also we can draw with a blending stump. It's really great if you can just, and at times you can dip your stump in the, the pencil mark, uh, the pencil and Draw with your stump. So these are the tools that you definitely can utilize. Blending stump, all the different pencils erasers. These are all the tools that you can use. To create the effect like this. This definitely is a lot of uh, blending stump using for, to create the, uh, the dust in the back. So now that we are ready, we create our value scale, we tape our board. Now we come back to our reference. This is 
also similar to our first project. If you are right-handed, you start from the first top left square. You have experienced if you do not go from one square to the next, you are absolutely lost. So please be methodical, follow from one square to the next, and then the next row, one square to the next. If you are left-handed, you start from the right-hand top corner and go across, go across, go across and across. The reason we we do that is to be absolutely accurate to look at each square as the individual area to to pay attention to because if you don't something like this the student started with the first square is completely black and that is really essential because if you think you can just oh i'm just going to draw that and and just go on the board there's no line drawing on this project your first square you probably would just do okay here's where your value scale comes in handy you say okay this is the tone that i need to replicate on my board What would I use? 2H. And over here, what pencil do I use? Probably 6B right here. And over here, completely black. Absolutely ebony. So that is why your value scale is so valuable and then when you go one square at a time a lot of my students find this really helpful because this you look at the entire photo is extremely distracting so they cut out a one inch square they know now exactly to do a 2H blending right here and then use an eraser, start to drag this across so you can see the subtle white right here. And then by isolating and one inch square, you can see now how long this little white streak is and how far away is it from the edge? This is about halfway in, in the, uh, the half inch mark. So this is where you start taking off some of the pencil with the eraser. Then you have the two. This is a longer streak. This is a short streak. And you can use a blending stump to take some of the, the pencil, the graphite out from here. So when you're done with that, you take this off and you look at your illustration board. You'll be really amazed how accurate that is. That is why I said to my class, if you follow instruction, have some patience, you you can do exactly what you have seen, um, what my previous class student had done. I mean, some of them, and most of them are not art majors. So 
I will um, be right here. You can ask questions as we go along. So this is kind of a, a long explanation from grading your reference, taping your board, doing your value scale, and start drawing on, well, start rendering on your illustration board with all your tools. So don't think that you're gonna do this right now in one hour. This is a long process. So I will be with you, stay with you to go along. So let's start this project by gritting your reference.